Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we will be continuing the concept of line encoding or line coding. And in the previous video, we saw unipolar line coding. From this video, we will understand the two types of polar line coding techniques. Okay, so unipolar meant that the voltage levels are present only on one side of the time axis. Whereas in polar line coding, voltages are present on both sides of the time axis. So this is one difference you need to remember. Okay, now the first type of uh, line, polar line coding is polar NRZ. So it is non-return to zero. That means uh, the signal will not return to zero voltage in the middle of the bit as we have seen in the previous video also. And it is polar. So the bits will now be represented using two voltage level. Earlier, non-return to zero in case of unipolar uh, represented the bit 1 using a positive voltage and the bit 0 using a 0 voltage. Whereas in this case, 0 voltage will not be used. Rather, a positive voltage will be used and a negative voltage will be used. Okay, So plus V and minus V. In the, This is how the signal elements or the levels of the signal will be present on both sides of the time axis. Now, as I told you in the introductory lecture, polar NRZ has two further subtypes or categories, which are NRZ level, which is NRZ L, and the second is NRZ I, which stands for NRZ invert. Okay. Now, in case of NRZ level, it means that the level of the voltage will determine what is the value of the bit. So if this is the case for NRZ L, then what will happen? If we have to represent this data 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 0, then in this case, if the level of the voltage is high, it will be 0. Otherwise, if the level of the voltage is low, that means negative V, then it represents bit 1. So in this case, you can either select minus V for 0 and plus V for 1. But generally, plus voltage is taken to represent 0 in NRZL and minus V is taken to represent bit 1. So if the sender has to send data 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, he'll first use a positive voltage level to represent 0. Then he'll go down to a negative voltage level because it is 1. The next bit is 0. So the level will be high. That means it will be a positive voltage again. Then again a positive voltage because the bit is 0. Then the next three bits are 1. That means minus V will be representing this these three bits. Then the next bit is 0. So we have to come to positive voltage and the signal will be plus V. Okay. Now in case of NRZ invert, that is NRZI, the change or lack of change in the level of voltage will determine the value of the bit. Okay, so if there is no change in voltage, that means if previously also the voltage was positive and now also in the next time interval, the voltage is remaining positive. That means the bit that we are representing is zero. Otherwise, if the voltage has now changed from positive to negative or negative to positive, then it means the bit that has to be represented is one. So let's see. This is the case for NRZI. Now in NRZI, if we have to represent 0, we'll start with a positive voltage. Now the next bit is 1. 1 to represent 1, we need to change the voltage level. So we will switch from positive voltage to a negative voltage. Okay. Now the next bit is 0. 0 to represent 0, we do not change the voltage level. So the current voltage level is minus V 
and we continue with this voltage level again the next bit is zero so we will continue with the uh, previous voltage level and we will not make any changes then the next bit is one so we will make the change from negative this bit will change to positive now the level will change to positive voltage again the next bit is one so we will change the voltage level and from positive voltage it will go down to a negative voltage then again there is a one so we will have to take the signal voltage up to the positive level and the next value is zero so this particular voltage will continue so this is the case of nrzi okay now the disadvantage of the polar scheme is that it does not provide any kind of synchronization synchronization means uh, if the clocks of the sender and the receiver are not in the same uh, they are not synced together they are not running together then there might be a confusion in what data is being sent and what has been received the receiver might interpret the data sent by the receiver incorrectly okay now coming to the second version of polar line coding which is polar return to zero that is polar rz now polar rz will use three voltage levels this is an important part three voltage levels would be plus v that means positive voltage negative voltage and zero voltage okay so in this case the signal will return to zero in between the bit okay so as for now till now we have seen that it in non return to zero schemes whether it is unipolar or polar the signal changed itself after one bit was over and the, before the next bit was starting right but in this case each bit will see a change in the signal level okay so during the bit only the signal will change and how it will change it will go to zero in the middle of the bit and it will remain there until the beginning of the next bit okay so how is this helpful this helps in synchronization because when the signal will go to zero in the middle of the bit and remain there before the next bit starts that means that uh, zero voltage basically defines that the next bit is starting so it gives a time gap to the receiver to synchronize its clock of receiving the signal okay so let's see how we will represent this digital data 01001 using polar rz line coding scheme so zero will be represented by a negative voltage okay so uh, we are represented zero with a negative voltage so the first element would be like this and in the middle of this uh, the signal will come to zero zero voltage and stay there okay so uh, in this case you can say the negative voltage started it went till the uh, bit till the middle of the bit duration and uh, from the middle of the bit duration till the end of that duration it remained at level zero then the next bit is one so in that case we will go to positive voltage stay there till the middle of the bit and then return to zero and stay at zero voltage till the end of this bit the next is zero bit zero bit again is represented by a negative voltage so we will go to negative voltage negative voltage level minus v will remain there till the middle of the bit then we will reach uh, towards zero voltage and stay there till the end of the bit so you can say this particular uh, transition is representing zero and this particular transition is representing one now again there is a zero voltage that means we need to start at minus v then at the middle of the bit go to the middle go to zero voltage and then uh, stay there till the end of this bit 
since the next bit that has to be represented is 1 so we will go to positive voltage stay there till the middle of the bit and uh, go to 0 till the remaining end of the bit okay so this was about polar rz which is polar return to 0 now the drawback of this scheme is that each bit requires two signal levels or changes two changes basically so it will uh, it will it requires a positive level and a zero level or it requires a negative voltage level and a zero level okay and uh, due to these uh, multiple levels increase in levels the complexity of the scheme also increases and it becomes difficult to implement okay so this was all for polar rz if you have understood the concept and you like the video please let us know in the comment section below thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam